Hey everybody, it's Mike here. Welcome to a new video in my 3D code series. Well, if you've seen my video so far, uh, you probably understood by now that they're aimed at beginners and they are in a slow pace and they are quite simple, right? Now in this video, we're actually going to model something in the puddle and modeling room, and it's gonna be a car tire, a very basic one, but nevertheless, I will talk you through all the steps and hopefully that will help you on your journey to get more acquainted with 3D code. So uh, we're in a new scene. We're gonna click on poly modeling. Here we go. And first we need to come up with a 3D object, of course. So we're gonna go to the left-hand side. We're gonna go to 3D primitives and we don't want the default cube. We of course want the torus. Now the torus looks like this by default, but what we need to do is give that quite a lot of subdivision for the simple reason that I want to add a detail to the tire when done. Now the orange color here is a placeholder. So if you want to actually create this object, we're gonna click on apply, which will give us our green model. And then from here, we're gonna go in and add the detail for the tires. So we need to go to select, and then we're gonna go to face mode up here. And from there, we're gonna go in and select one face right here. We're gonna shift and double click. So we've got one row at that end. Do the same here. Then we're gonna jump over, repeat that. Jump over once again. Jump over once more. And let's see if that's enough. That should be enough, all right? And of course we want to extrude this because we want to have profile on that tire. So we're going to hit the space bar and we're going to go to uh, extrude faces. And then we're going to pull on this arrow here, actually push in this case. And what you want to do is make sure that you don't overdo it, right? So don't go nuts, but keep it subtle, something like that. Let's say we're happy with that, right? What you're gonna do is you're gonna hit Control D to get rid of your selection. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here and we're gonna remove faces on the inside. So we're gonna go in here and let's go in here and make a selection. So make sure we're still on select and we still have faces selected. Click on one, we're gonna shift, double click, there you go. And then we're gonna hit the plus sign on the number keypad to increase that selection, all right? Now, we didn't start off in the center, so if I hit plus again and again, we're getting to about here. Let's go a bit further, maybe one less. There you go. And then we're gonna hit delete, okay. Now, because I didn't have a middle line to select, we have to flip it over, go in here and delete one more row at this end. So we're gonna get a face, there you go, and we only want to have this side selected. So click and double click and delete. And now we should have our symmetry again. Now from here, what I wanna do is go to edge mode and I want to select that one as well. So we got both selected. And from here, what I wanna do is extrude. So we're gonna hit the space bar. We're gonna go to free extrude and we're gonna pull. And as we do that, you're gonna see we get a little uh, lip here, right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna hit skill, skill that in a little bit. From here, all right? And that will give us that little edge. Now, uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go in and I'm not going to extrude the entire tire because it will give a lot of face count on the inside that I don't need. But I want to have this lip here to work with, right? So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna hit uh, commit extrusion, and then we're gonna control the D and have a look and see what we got, right? So yeah, this is a very, very simple rendition of a tire, uh, but nevertheless, it will help you to get started, I hope, all right? Now, let me know in the comments um, what kind of videos you wanna see in 3D Coats, and I'll see if I can make that happen for you, right? 
Uh, title looks a bit off, but it's in perspective mode. If I go to orthographic, you'll see that it's symmetrical, right? Let me jump in here to the proper view, the one that I want. There you go, right? Okay, so that's it for me. That's it for this video. Let me know in the comments what kind of videos you want to see. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.